Yo, what is going on guys? Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. As well as if you want to save 20% off of Nike clearance right now, uh, there is a new code that you guys can check out in the description. It is good until the 6th of March, so just uh, heads up on that. This video, I wanted to focus on this pair of shoes right here. This is a brand new one that I ended up releasing, and this is called the Nike React W-R-I-S-P-A. And I um, wanted to do this video for a couple reasons. One, obviously because I got the shoes. I'm actually really excited about these shoes and happy that I was able to buy these. $160, no hype. They do fit true to size, just getting all that stuff out of the way now. But the real question that I wanted to pose to you guys at this time though is, Nike React already dead? Or is it something that uh, you guys think will have more of a future in 2019? And the only reason why I mentioned that though is because the Epic Reacts as well as the React Element 87s uh, got a lot of shine in 2018. In fact, uh, the 87 was actually the shoe of the year. So it was really interesting to see a shoe get such high accolades for what it was. It really is a great shoe and I did a couple different detailed review videos of this shoe and I'll try to link some of those in the description. If I fail to link them, leave a comment and let me know uh, so then I can just add them later since I'm just kind of balancing a bunch of things right now. But uh, yeah, anyway, so this is one of those shoes that I think was really, really great and the execution was awesome. But you could see on the ISPA, it has the same midsole and the outsole as the Element React 87. But the hype behind Nike React just definitely doesn't seem to be there as much as it was last year. I mean, Adidas Boost was kind of the game changer that lasted for five full years. Nike only has had a run of one year so far in the React technology. And it seems like it's not being talked about as much right now. Part of the reason why maybe is because there's no hype releases in the React category. And if there are some, leave some comments and let me know which ones that I um, missed, I guess. But the Element React 55 are on sale. You can get them under a hundred bucks now. And the Element React 87s, you can actually get under retail at places like StockX even. And the brand new ISPAs you can get for retail still. And I will link them in the description also. They are available in pretty much a full size run in all three colorways that released the other week. Shocking to see, honestly, I actually thought it was a really cool thing that they did when they created this shoe. And I um, was definitely on board as soon as I saw it. And buying a pair of shoes like this is no different to me than 20 years ago and seeing a new Nike model that comes out and it's just a little bit different than the rest and maybe is a little bit too funky for some people. But for somebody like myself, I just appreciate a design and even one better than that, one that's not overly hyped up and sold out instantly so you can't even get your hands on them. So this is kind of one of those fun reviews that I'm excited to do because I'm showing you guys a product that you can actually go and buy. And um, I think that the sneaker culture in general right now is not really geared towards that too much, but it's something that I find that I have the most interest in because I don't buy all of the hyped up sneakers, mostly because I strike out on everything just like you guys out there. You guys see my L's on Twitter and uh, Instagram and stuff like that all the time. So this is fun because this is one of those shoes that I was like, dope design, dope concept, and uh, available for you guys to be able to buy Price point $160, again, not too terrible. But the design elements are the thing that sold me. So I did a review of the mid tops already and I went over what ISPA is. If you guys didn't see that video, go check that one out also linked in the description. But this version I think is a little bit better than the other one because it is not a mid top, it is the low top version. And it's almost kind of similar to the Element React 87s. Um, and I would actually go one further and say I actually like this version better than the 87s. In my reviews of the 87s, I really wasn't a fan of the see-through upper and it collected a lot of dust and everything like that. This material though is water resistant, which is something that I uh, like. There's like a giant Y down the middle of the shoe and it separates the tongue uh, and the upper. You have a cool little tag here with the Nike ISPA logo on it. And it kind of has a off-white sort of vibe with the baseball stitching here. But then you have a little pull tab here with a little hit of color also and this almost looks like all over print tape that they have right here with ISPA and the Nike swoosh so that's kind of a cool effect instead of just using a regular hyperfuse then on the inside of the shoe they have this really cool uh, Nike swoosh that's just a little bit different again it looks like there's also a little mini swoosh right here on the back but it's actually covered up by the second pull tab on the back which again is a really cool and interesting design element because you can see the way that the laces are tied it's over to one side and I honestly really like it so I just left it like this because I can wear them uh, just like that and I think it looks cool. The laces are curved one way while the Y is actually curved the opposite direction and then you can see the tie up right here how it leads back 
uh, to the laces here. So it definitely has a unique style and upper. Definitely rem it reminds me of like the ACG sort of vibe to it and the ruggedness of the Element React 87 with the little nibs and stuff on the bottom. And you have that really comfortable Nike React cushioning on the midsole, which is in its raw form and it is really comfortable and soft and uh, great on feet. Again, I went true to size on these and they fit me perfectly. And they have an extra set of laces inside here for the shoes if you wanted to change them up. And I actually really like the contrast between the off-white sort of tongue and then back tab liner here. I just think it looks that much better just because they ended up uh, doing that. These honestly feel like a collaboration to me with Nike and in some other company. But uh, at the end of the day, like they just did a really good job on the shoe. So why is there no hype on the shoe? I don't really know. It's not a shoe that's gonna resale or anything like that. You might be able to get these on the sale shelves eventually as well, which is a good move. In my opinion, I think that's gonna be great to see. Uh, I don't really care about the hype thing on every single shoe that comes out. Obviously some shoes I like are hyped up. There's definitely a lot of them that I just really wanna try even without the hype and this is one of them. And I really don't think the React technology is dead only a year later. I really feel like Nike just has lost that hype interest in the shoe because it hasn't really been releasing anything that is in limited quantities that gets all the little hype beasts going crazy. So because of that, they kind of lose out on that market. And also one thing that is different from five years ago, I will point out is StockX. Like five years ago, you couldn't really have the online open market and you see actual market price of a shoe uh, in, in a really legible and easy to read manner. And StockX allows you to be able to do that now versus five years ago, again, we didn't have that option. So I think that everything is kind of escalated quite a bit now. A shoe drops, it's hyped up one day, the next day it's garbage, depending on who you talk to, because the resale drops. And with that sort of mentality, I think that the market is gonna drive a lot of the supply and demand, but that supply and demand, in my opinion, is just falsely placed because it's not a true demand of the shoes. A true demand of the shoe is for people to actually purchase the shoes to consume, not necessarily resale. So just throwing that out there, my personal thoughts. But at the end of the day, super happy that I got this one. Love this one better than the mid tops. And I actually really like this one better than the 87s. Overall, everything about this upper is better in my opinion. But leave some comments, let me know what you guys think. Is it not something that draws your attention because it's just too weird? Is it too ACG-ish and rugged sort of look that you don't like? Um, or is it just something totally not even up your alley? But kudos to the Nike team. Personally, I just think they did a great job. Uh, on these shoes and I'm happy to add them to the collection. But that is the video, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, uh, hit the thumbs up button if you guys want to do so. If you guys are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, it is appreciated if you guys do that and the notification bell to be notified of when my videos are live. Thank you again for watching. Have a great rest of the day and we'll catch you guys for some more videos very soon. Peace guys.